Hey guys, Sun Streaker Wada here. Welcome to another weekly stream where we cover everything Transformers Earth Wars. So, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, yes, we are covering Trailbreaker today. So, we're going to put him through the paces, we're going to uh, show his ability, give you our opinion, say what we think. Uh, we have got Ability 11, but we can't showcase it yet. We've literally just landed it today. So, um, I want to talk a bit about the bots that uh, I've been given Ability 11. That's out in the newsletter. So we could talk about the bots and what we think of those and have they chosen the right bots. And yeah, we could talk about that. <clears throat> but um, yeah, we can't go into details about the actual abilities themselves and what they actually do. But we have the legend that is Mirage Jake here. Say hi. Hi, guys. So yes, Mirage Jake, because the stream's a bit early for us in the UK, he can uh, probably not nip in a bit more often now than he used to be able to, because yeah. it's uh, an hour earlier. So yeah. yeah. So without further ado, let's see who we've got in the chat. Oh yeah. So we've got Arnav Garb, who was first in. Oh. Welcome to the chat. We've got Grind Time. And actually, I just need to do something, actually. Um, and there we go. Uh, we've got um, uh, Mitchell, we've got Air Warriors, Matt Poley, uh, Wind Chaser, we've got uh, Destroyer, Fire Rage, we've got Wind Chaser, how we all doing, we've got Sharksy, one of our uh, mods on our uh, Discord server, we've got uh, Kulta, we've got Chima Black, uh, anything that <laughs> I know, Primus. Kulta. Oh my, OMG. Joseph, we've got Silver in one of the mods. Culture uh, said, OMG, the, pro the pro Fortnite player is here. The what? The pro Fortnite player is here. <laughs> we've got Pablo, we've got Eric as well, we've got Air Elf. We've so, got yeah. Joseph. Welcome, welcome, Eric. welcome. Hello. Welcome, everyone. So, um, just at the start of the stream, I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed already. But if you haven't subscribed already, why not? So, wow. yeah, make sure you subscribe, guys. Uh, we do have a Discord server, about 560 members, I think, something like that now. So, yeah, we have a great Discord server, a lot of good information in there, a lot of good people. Um, yeah, you are welcome to join throughout the stream. The moderators will be posting a few links, I'm sure. So, yeah, make sure you join our Discord server. And, uh, yeah... You get the lowdown on like everything happens in the game. And in that Discord server, we do have a VIP section, which depends on your donations in stream. Getting in there. And those that donate £20, $20 to the stream, will get in the VIP section and you will know everything that's coming in the next stream, what we're talking about, and you learn all the uh, news firsthand as it comes. I was at least one of the first ones to be VIP. Yeah, obviously you're VIP. You've got to be VIP. You get me on my five stars. So of course you are. Yeah, because I'm the four star five star. So let's have a look at Trailbreaker. Trailbreaker. I'm sorry, is that you like screen? So up. what do we Trailbreaker just first? Something I want to point out. Oh, it looks so like when we first got Trailbreaker, um, he's a warrior, warrior class. Obviously. And, it's and, like design, well, right? when he was designed. I did make a comment, and they've stayed true to the G1 cartoon. And the two things, the two phrases that I love from Trailbreaker is the uh, the one phrase where he says, "I'm not built," and the other one is, "I may not be fast, but I'm tough." Mm -hmm. And he's exactly that. He's a warrior class, so he's got loads of health. He's quite slow in how he moves compared but, to other bots, but. That's a warrior. That's what a warrior is. Pretty much, yeah. Isn't he? To be honest, it's like him and I are the brothers, to be honest. Him and I are the brothers, to be honest, really. And there we go. Let's see him transform. It looks Iron Hide and this is Iron Hide and Trailbreaker. And there we go. They so look the same. My, my only yeah. criticism would be that he's not true to the G1. Death or not. He doesn't, um, you know. He's too small. It doesn't look like the G1 version. He's like three times Bumblebee, so... So, yeah. He is a, a really good bot. He is a good bot, but he's nowhere near like the GG. 
Yeah, I prefer if it was the G1 version. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Shanks has put the trailbreaker looks a bit plain. Yeah, he hasn't got things on his shoulders uh, where his force field comes out of. But, um, where did yeah. that come from? I can oh. see a couple of people are in a, a couple of issues maybe with sound, uh, but I've got other people saying it's okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm we not too sure. We don't know because the stream... <clears throat> well, I've got people music. saying it is fine, so it must be working. If it's, if it's Lots of people saying it's working, so... Uh, Sharks said, yeah, he's had a little satellite thing on his back. Well, yeah, he had the uh, thing that his force field comes out of. And then, um, yeah, he had the obviously the stickers on the side and things like that. Mine? Um, and he's Mine? missing that, but, you know, visually they've gone off the toy. And that's what they mainly I have a toy. use in terms of the um, the modelling because they have to obviously work but, with Hasbro. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But here's the thing, the toy doesn't even look like Z1 either. Uh, well, I think you got the Generations one, which yeah, is a bit I've different. Yeah, I've got the G... I've got the... Uh, this is going to be the War for Cybertron one, I think. So, yeah, a bit different. But, yeah. I've got the... um. The, what's the other version? The, um... What, what version is it? Yours? Yeah. Yours are Generations, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Combiner yeah. Wars. Use the Combiner Wars. Yeah, right? Combiner... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're Combiner Wars, aren't you? Uh, and Iron Hide is, as well. Yeah. I've got the... So, <laughs> let's have a look at his stats. So, you can see there... Yeah. He's got uh, 26,000 health, which is quite considerable That's at uh, level 61. What if you put Rung <clears> on him? <throat> That's a lot of health. Can you put Rung on him? And uh, no, Rung is for healers. And uh, damage is only 246, so damage is super low, but super high health to, to sort of uh, to match. Uh, Coulter's cool asking to match with Hotspot. So uh, have we got four-star Hotspot to make an even comparison? Yeah. You do. Um, but what level is it? Pretty much down. Um, I, I think I saw him go up more. Oh. Hotspot of 55 has 19,000 damage. 20, uh, five star hotspot. Um, <laughs> five star hotspot. Five star hotspot 55. 23,000 health. What's a melee? Is melee? So, is yeah, it? probably still spot in terms of health wise, I think. Is, is he a bit like Iron Idol? <clears throat> yeah, very much in terms, in terms of like, you know. Um, like types of warriors. in terms of his health and damage, yeah, very similar to the likes of Ironhide and Hotspot, where because here's it's the all thing, about um, the health. When I looked at it, he was really shielding the bottom, something like healing. Well, we'll look at that in a minute, minute, but yeah, but I thought that you can put one on uh, but power core wise, hmm. uh, generally the normal, uh, like obviously prime cores, but um, <laughs> yep, I should I would put on. Uh, wall buster. I would technically put on wall buster, me. So, yeah, uh, just want to put out there don't ignore the seconds and ignore the uh, the values at a minute. We're going to go through the values. This is not set, it's not what, 28 seconds, what guys. Are the values? It is not 28 seconds. I just want to put that out there, guys. Um, we're going to go through the stats in a minute. Uh, they're not, these are not the stats that are going into the live server, they're a bit mixed up, but uh, yeah. I will show you that in a minute. So, hey to Brady as well, who's a, a new, uh, a new, well, I'd say a new subscriber, not subscribed maybe yet, but yeah, uh, a oh, new watcher, so uh, to speak. So, yeah, welcome Supreme to the stream. Is, I mean, at least one of the best combiners. So, uh, in terms of uh, combat bots, uh, generally the uh, normal uh, combat bots Wait, when can you put, on a warrior. When can you get to level 11 with the combat? Uh, you can't get to ability level with combats. You can't. Level 11, you mean? Level 11? Yeah. Yeah, you can't yet, yeah. When? Uh, I don't think we will. I think we'll just keep to 10 for the combats, I think. Yeah, for time. Okay, so let's have a look at his ability. So, what we'll do first, we'll have a quick look at some stats. Let me just pause the stream one minute. I'll get his stats up so we can actually see his stats one second. Okay, and here is his stats. So, for a uh, two and three star, it starts at 11% uh, uh, reflection for just three seconds. And now we considered this in the playtesting chat, and I want to talk about that in a minute as well after this as well. Then it goes all the way up to 20% reflection for 12 seconds. And then for the four star, it starts at 12%, uh, right up to 30% uh, damage reflection. 
and the shield duration is for 12 seconds. So that is should be pretty much just going into the server. We're looking at um 30 percent reflection. What if it, for what, what if they bring out five star? Do you think it's who the, knows? It's a bit early to say yet. Let's be honest. They've only just brought out the four star. So even considering a five star trail breaker, it's I far say far about seventy-five percent. Yes. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. So I want to talk a bit about the play testing um chat as well and how we um how we went we went about testing it. So just give me a second, let me just go back to this. Uh, we are back. Back. So um when we when this bot first come out, whenever we get a support bot coming out with any kind of what a support the, bot? Yeah, is it a bit like sandstorm and no a support bot that has no real attacking value, is just there to sort of shield your bots or help your Springer. bots. No. Uh well, yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah. You more like tracks it. and and things like that, really. More like tracks uh... and hotspot, maybe other people. Not really hot spot. Anyway, what, what we were considering was, as soon as a bot like this comes out, we straight away, we think, bot going to work with tracks. It's going to stack with tracks. It's going to be a problem. And we had a bit of a two and a throw between the playtesters. And my opinion is that, you know, I'm tired of every time we get a support bot thinking, well, what happens if we put this bot with tracks? What happens then? Uh, I think we need to sort of balance all these uh, bots on their own values and judge them for what they are and not how they're going to work with another bot. And then it's up to space it then to balance the game in some way and, you know, for them to make it viable so it's not overpowered. Because, yeah, Trailbreaker and Tracks are going to be massively overpowered, but I'm sure that space it will work out something to combat Shield or bring out something in some way. I'm sure they will balance it because right now, reflection, damage reduction, shielding, is there's a lot of that in the game and a lot of, uh, you know, of those that stack and uh, along with healing. And yeah, it does cause a bit of problem in terms of balance. But yeah, no, no doubt that they will address this as 17.5, I think. Nothing official has been said. It's not said they're going to do anything like that. But I think they need to. I think it needs looking at, really, so it doesn't stack and it's not too overpowered. So I'm hoping that, you know, these sort of bots can be pushed forward now because I think the attack bots, you know, like Double Dealer and, like, Six Gun, they've been really good. You know, they've been decent bots. But the likes of, uh, you know, Lightspeed and Afterbreaker, they've been quite poor. And I think for that reason is because we're too scared of stacking it with tracks and being overpowered and... We need to go out on a limb now, really, and really balance these bots so that they're good in their own right. And people have... So, I think Trailbreaker is going to be a really good bot. Uh, personally, I can't wait to get him. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, and definitely, um, definitely going to be uh, shooting to get... So, without further ado, we'll have a look at his ability. Now, when we first got his ability, it... It wasn't, it was decent, but with, basically it had a green shield or a purple shield, a purple shield like hotspot. And we all agreed straight away, we're like, nope, this doesn't work. It can't be purple. It's not purple in G1. It's definitely uh, orange colored. It's got to be orange colored. Has to be. And so gladly, Space Ape changed it to orange. And you know what? I think they've done a really, really good bot, good job of this bot. We said from the start, it's a bit of a fan favourite, this guy. He's been asked for a long time. He's got to have a shield. It's got to be orange. The visuals have got to be right. It needs to be, uh, you know, spot on for this guy because we've waited for so long for him. So, uh, yeah. Engineer Hoist is in the stream. Welcome to the stream, brother. Um, are you here? Yeah, we'll do it now. Uh, if you've seen uh, NJ Hoist stream, go and check it out, guys. He's the OG of stream, really cool guy. He's the guy that I started watching when I first started, and sort of got me on the road to uh, streaming. 
So if you're not subscribed to I Hoy's channel, you, you really need to. I started playing Oh, I started watching Hoy's years ago. So he's a re yeah, really top guy. And yeah, I recommend everyone to go and subscribe to Hoy's stream. Go and watch it. It's really informative. And especially if you like the toys. I mean, I like the toys, but I don't really cover the toys that much. I don't have nowhere near amount of toys as Hoy's does. Way, give him, give him nowhere a... near. Give him some help to try and get Hoist in the game. Yeah, I'm going to vote for... I, I keep voting for Hoist just for him. I feel sorry for him we haven't got Hoist yet. We need to get Hoist in the game. We've got Trailbreaker. We need Hoist. But I think the space hit will bring him in too. Yeah. But I'm sure people are saying, thinking now, let's see Trailbreaker. So let's get him on. Let's get him let's on. See. Let's get him on. So oh. we'll put a few bots down. No. We'll I, put Trailbreaker down. Now, um... So this is the cool bit, guys. So his radius there... You Target any bot you like. So we'll target Laser Optimus. And then he sticks by them and puts his shield up. That's and shields the bots. That's not an error. He's not an error. He still shields them. And like I said, the ability cost is 4 plus 4. So you can't spam it, you know, and just shield your bots constantly. But it does work. And you can see there that he stays with the bots and shields them. And you can see there they're not taking much damage, really, because of that shielding. And, yeah, I know some people say, you know, it doesn't last uh, quite as long as they would like. You know, not every bot is going to be exactly like Trax. But that shield is true to G1. It's really cool. It's like Defensors. It's a bit like Defensors. Defensors shield, yeah, a bit. It is. I think it'd be really but, good on a walk it, team. But uh, defense will go like that around it. Yeah. Uh, very good I visuals. Come, why did they bring that out? Can they, even shield himself, I you can see there. I think they didn't bring that out. To be honest, I like the meat more ball. Uh, to be honest, I like the meat more more or something. Uh, but I think they did put the force with up because they wanted to do the tail break off. Make the actual G1. Maybe. I mean, you know, if you they're going to bring out... Um, Trailbreaker, he had to have a shield. It had to be that no, way. Even though it's still the giant meatball. Giant meatball. <laughs> giant meatball. So, yeah, we'll have another go. I see a couple of people just sort of joined in. So, we'll have a look again. But, yeah, I think that the main thing for this, we said it has to be true What's to the G1. What's the Decepticon person from Trailbreaker? Uh, exhaust. Exhaust is very similar to Wheeljack. Uh, have we got Exhaust? Let's have a look. Hmm. Uh, exhaust open. Who's flame war? Have we got exhaust? Who's flame war? I'm not so sure. Yeah, we've got exhaust. We can have a look at exhaust Who's as well. Who's flame war? Flame war is similar to uh, afterbreaker, I mm. think. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Pretty much a wheeljack clone. Brum 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 brum. Yeah, same ability. Exactly the same. Pretty cool. I know on the uh, stream. Brum, brum. On the stream, they said it's not a wheeljack clone, but it is pretty much in it. Let's be honest, it's a it's a wheeljack clone, pretty much, pretty much is. So, uh, yeah, we've got a fifty-five uh, eight there. Uh, obviously, like I said, the stats are a bit off. You can see the the similar health. We can actually compare this better to Hotspot, I think. So, twenty-one thousand health and one hundred ninety-four damage. Who's the hotspot? Twenty-one thousand one hundred ninety-four. Um, well, you can just go to the five stars. So, yeah, slightly less damage than Hotspot, but more health. So, yeah, very cool. How, how can you see the damage that they do? Uh, DPS, that's Where's damage. Yes. That that damage for a so, we'll have another go with a uh, with Trailbreaker again. Can go. Do you want to go with him? Yeah. Yeah, have a go. There you go. Oh. I'll show yeah, that's Jake's time to go. I'll show stream how. So, uh, why don't we go? We'll have a bit of a chat. So, uh, we're also going to talk a bit about the bots that have been, uh, they're going to be given ability 11. I think that's pretty much set now. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the selection of bots? <laughs> go, Jake. Do you go. guys think that Space Ape have chosen the right box? I always... Is there some bots you think should be included? But, um, the reason that they've chosen the bots they've chosen, they didn't want to choose all the top bots in the game. It's only then available to the people that have got the best box. You wanted to breathe a bit of uh, life into some of the bots that aren't quite in the meta. 
So Arnav Gav has put uh, Blaster. Yeah, I think Blaster is one of the best bots in the game. So I think that's the uh, that's the reason why Blaster's not in there. There's some bots that are G1 uh, or originals when the game first come out that have had a buff since and uh, you know uh, considerably better than what they were. And I think some of them bots have been they've been left out. So I'm pretty sure that Jazz has never had a buff. I know Sunstreaker has at one point. Uh, I know that. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of who, bots that first come out and I've had a buff since. So I, I think I'm trying to think of other ones now. I I don't know how to but use yeah. Cheeto. I don't know how to use Cheeto now. Uh, so who have we got? Oh, so. Okay, that's how you use Cheeto. So I don't know how to use Cheeto. Um, will the first batch of 11 all get the same buff or are they all different? They're all going to be different. Uh, all different kind of buffs. Depends on the bots. Um, and from what I've, I've not actually proper tested yet, but uh, yeah, they seem pretty cool. But there is some options for some of the bots, like maybe RC and give her a bit of improvement. That's something we'll look at as well. So yeah. Hoping Arcee's uh, decoy becomes explosive like Rook. Uh, I don't think it'd be like Rook. I think the problem is that they don't want two abilities the same. But I do agree that there's something needs to be with a decoy. Again, I honestly haven't tested yet, so I can't even say that I ever know or not. I might win Purely it. Purely to myself. I might win it. But personally, I would um, definitely like to see some sort of um, buff to... RC's hollow. I think definitely that part of it. I might actually win this. Uh, all you air raid and slipstream haters will start crawling back to them. Well, you've got to get them to ability 10 first, but I know there is some people that do use them and are uh, hoping they can get them back into the um, meta. But my understanding is that um, air raid and slipstream, I think I've read that they might get a damage increase. Maybe. Don't count me on that. I'm hoping it is true. It would bring them back into the meta a lot. I think that'd be an absolute really good bot with a damage increase. And then with ability 11 as well, then you may see Aerie coming right back into the meta again, maybe. Look Could be interesting. Look um, Righteous says damage with the hollow. They hate the hollow. I don't think we'll have damage. They will. The hollow might do damage. I mean, DPS, then yes, yeah, maybe an option. Well done. I won against your base. That may be an option. Change the um, base because I want it. If you want, I'll put the shield generator on and put a combiner on and then see how you go then and then change the outpost box to good ones. Because <laughs> well, we change around. Wait. <laughs> you put um, him. Are you supposed to be enticed? Vincent's put, uh, but if area is just damage increase, then there's nothing unique. I agree. It does need something else. Um, I don't think any of the ability 11 there's one I think Ratchet's ability 11 at the minute is not much of an, uh, a revelation it's just a, looks like a progression so there's a lot of talk about that in the chat that's been something we've talked about a lot saying that uh, Ratchet's oh. needs some sort of improvement and for me I don't think any sort of protection or healing would help personally I would like if he did heal bomb for mm. then his heal rate to also improve for so many seconds or something or I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe a life steal, so it steals from any bots. If you use it, ability eleven, then it life steals from the other bots. That could be a good option. Again, we're just guessing. We're just guessing a minute. Um, yeah, Silverbolt is another one. Is another bot that um, has been buffed. So I don't think we'll still we'll yeah, see Silverbolt buff. anytime soon. He got a buff quite a bit ago. So yeah, is even better. We used to use some... Um, Blast Wave. Blast Wave mentioned he has got his own YouTube channel. Go and check it out, guys. Blast, Blast Wave. Wave. Yeah. And he's Blast asked, uh, do I think Sideswipe should have a buff? Yeah, definitely. I think Sideswipe needs a buff, but I think he also 100%. needs careful balancing. I think he needs to be careful balancing. Um, it all depends on his range as well. So does his, do you increase his range ability 11? So you've really got to invest in him to use it. I think that could be a good viable option. That um, his range would increase. That would be good. Winchester's put Arcee's Hollow might stun a section. I think that's definitely more of a viable option. You know, we've, you've got damage with Rook. So if you want damage, 
and you want health uh, in the bot, that's what you go for. If you want damage and you want stun, then you can choose RC and it gives you that option then. I think that's definitely an option. Yeah, but if they want to do um, the Crown Zeke from behind, then they have to do it a bit longer range then. So do you want another battle, Jacob? Bit... Oh, yeah. Well, let's, see what, let's make it a bit harder for you. While we're chatting, where's the uh, Commander Beacon? Let's put the shield Wait, in the road. Can I, have, can I have smoke screen? Yeah, what? Can I have smoke screen? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. Oh, wait. Where are you putting? Combine the beacon where it should be. Okay. Let's put the outpost where it should bye, be. Bye, bye. Let's, let's make it a bit harder for you. Let's make it a bit challenging, eh? Let's not make it so easy. If I win, is you on the five quid? I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. Uh, let's put that there like that. Let's put that there like that. Is, that what, is this what it's normally like? Uh, my base. Yeah. Uh, not really, no, but I've changed it around a bit. But what's that? We'll go with that. We'll go with that. What's that thing that's going floating yellow? Okay, you got a challenge now. What's that thing when you're floating yellow? Uh, that's the uh, Hills Harvester. Harvester, okay. So, you want five star smoke screens in there? Yeah, he's there. Do you want blades in there as well? What boy, blades? Uh, blades in, or are you happy with that? Or I would take wood we'll jack out for blades. We'll jack out I want to hack it to death as well. Hack, to, hack death. it to death is a max spot, so let's go hard. Mm -hmm. Hard battle as well, yeah? I no. Hard battle. Hard mode. We've got hard mode. <laughs> uh, grind time spot. Uh, so, yeah, Mitchell's put Grimlock will do splash damage. Well, maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure, like I said myself. Mm. Grind time would like to see some sort of death pulse. Yeah, I think on RC's hollow, yeah, I would like to see that as well myself. Yeah, I really would. Good luck with a flame effect. It's not just a flame effect. Obviously, it needs to be something considerable. Just, just put in a flame effect. It has to be something different. I have to put them all Dennis down. Creek, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, if they do 10 at a time, it will take ages to buff to 11 for all the bots. I think that's the point, Vincent. They didn't want to bring all the bots out because everyone will just straight away go to the likes of Cheeto and Slash and Goldfire. And they don't want that, really. Um, what they want is people to invest in other bots. So we'll probably get 10 now, and it could be a few months, could be a few weeks, before, you know, we get, um, you know, 11 for the rest of the bots. And I think they'll they'll go through time. Um, but, yeah, I think giving some bots a build to 11 already would be crazy, would be ridiculous, because some bots are just already crazy good. Power Glide and Cyclonus, that's a good point, Mike Berger. Power Clyde and Cyclonus really need some improvement. That's probably a bot that would get an improvement and ability 11. Bye bye. That's a good point. You know, bye these bye, sort of bots Defensor. Definitely would. Bye bye, Defensor. Defensor has gone now. Uh, Stingers put air raid could heal an explosion. Maybe. This is what I want. We want something different where it's not just ability 11, it's a damage increase, but something else happens when it stuns or whether it does something. But yeah. Uh, Power Glide and Punch need a huge buff. We were talking about this actually in the playtest chat as well. We were saying that you know we need to go back to Punch. We said ages ago we're going to go and look at Punch and uh, you know use him. And um, yeah, we're not going to win this. Soon. No, <laughs> we lost too many bots, I think. It to death. Bam. Um, but Power Glide, yeah, definitely. I think he needs a buff. Definitely. Bye bye, Shockwave. Uh, Vincent's put, I still don't think Trailbreaker is better than Hotspot. Depends how you use him. I mean, Hotspot does reflect more damage back and has more focus, but um, Trailbreaker does last a bit longer, but does shield more bot, but reflects less back to himself. So, yeah, I think Trailbreaker may be more at risk, but I think that using his ability, um, <laughs> you're going to protect more of your bots if they're in an area. So, a bit different than hot spots in that way, and different uh, how you use it. NJ Hyde has put great sound effects, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being ping pong ping with smart stream when I did the pencil. Ping pong ping, ping, bye bye. Ping ping ping. Ping pong ping, bye bye. <laughs> Brad Channing, what's up? How's it going? What's up, bro? Welcome. Uh, Vincent Lee says, Will all bots eventually get 11? I think so, but I think it will take a long so time. So, what's wrong? I would. I think you're probably looking over the next year, maybe, for I, Ability 11. 
I think you're really gonna it's gonna really go drag out that long. You got to think that we've got about 84 stars in the game. So in batches of 10 months, say that's still eight months. But uh, I really think that the uh, they will bring it batches out every two months. Say the they'll build it up. I think they'll, they'll start with. I don't think they'll start with the worst bots or the best bots, but they'll start with the oldest bots and work through. And those that have had buffs since then will get put to the back burner. So the likes of a good point is Silver Bowl. So I mentioned it earlier. Like the people that have got ability eleven, they're really like the, the first bots that came out. Yeah, pretty much the bots that have lost pretty a bit much. of love. You know, make them more relevant again. But so she so. didn't. Wheeljack didn't. Wheel, uh, Bumblebee didn't. Actually, Sunstreak Wait, has... Bumblebee did. Sunstreak had a buff a while ago. I think Bumblebee did, did as well. Oh, yeah. Sunstreak did, got his creme... Sunstreak got... Uh... Oh, it's because he got a G1 core, maybe. Maybe it's the bots. No, because some have got a G1 core. I don't know. I think they just picked some bots that have been a bit forgotten and a bit lost, and they're trying to improve them. And I get it. I get why they've done that list. They don't want to give it to Star Say because no one's going to use it for the bots. But I do understand people's... Um, you know, reservations that, um, you know, I understand the reservations that, that you know, some of these bots, people are not going to have ability 10. I do get that. I understand that. I really do. Um, but I also understand the need for the apes to not just give this to the bots that have got ability 10 already. That's boring because people are just going to use ability 11 and that's it. They want people that have got a bot that's going, you know what? Otis Prime. How many people out there have got Optimus Prime on their war team, but he's less than, say, but, then, but less than, like, ability five and six because they don't want to put a spark into him because they don't want him to do the damage, so it ruins the rush, you know? But now they will have an option where they think, you know what? I might push into ability 11. Oh, wait, I, need to I get might get actually do that. You know, they might actually do that. And then, you know... It's, it's making people get more spark, want more spark. And yeah, you know, yeah, I think that's the uh, the point of it. Really. I need to get my scent on all the cookies. And I've got to put power glide with acid effects. Pull. Maybe. When Chase has put, I hope Dust Up gets ability 11. I think Dust Up needs a really oh, big Oh, that's so, uh, that's you, Chase, though, for like a year. Stuff. I did. I did chase Chase. Um, <laughs> Brad Jennings put when chase the dust up needs ability 20 to be useful. <laughs> oh, more mate. The ability 2220. Right, just put uh, the trail breaker. He's put trailblazer, but I think he means trail breaker. Trail breaker is great with the team against combiner. Yeah, I think that's the main bit that when you're fighting them bots, it's just a really good shield to you, but you've got to keep them bots together. If your bots are going to split, then maybe hotspot, well, maybe have, have hotspot and trail breaker. Maybe there's a you know, you can use it different sometimes bots in that bot, yeah. Double, uh, Matt Paul has put Perceptor has a passive ability like the age core. It would be cool if they gave other bots an ability similar or the prime cores. Um, yeah, that's a good you know what, that's giving me an idea of maybe giving Ratchet some sort of my Cronus as ability 11. That would be pretty cool because that's been a messy, that's been a big talking point. That's a good point, Matt Bowley. That's a good idea. Giving Ratchet a Micronus, I know a smaller one, that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty good. So, yeah, definitely an option. Um, I would love to boost Hound's Hollow to 11. Well, yeah, I think Hound will come in the next batch, probably. Um, again, I'm just guessing, but I do, really do think that. Got a lot of questions about Billy Eleven. A lot of ideas, a lot of good ideas. Um, Bumblebee hasn't gotten any buff. Sunstreak got buffed though with G1 core. Yeah, but when I talk about Sunstreak and Bumblebee, I'm talking years ago. They got a buff after their original, their original uh, person. G no, G1. No, 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 no. Their original design. Their original design has been changed since. Definitely Sunstreaker. Um, but then they also changed it so it didn't do direct damage. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm and they varied at, it. But I'm yeah. gonna look at um Sunstreaker then if you say he's had a buff. Uh Brad Chinese put Saber 6110. He sucks. It's still a good bot. Uh still good for sacrifice and still decent, but he's expensive and he's uh yeah, 
but you got to think that Star Saber was the bot in the game for a long time. So he's definitely been uh, useful and definitely had his, you got your money's worth out of him using to level and that. So, yeah. Um, they should have everyone immune to damage a few seconds when you see Optimus ability. I don't know. That's a bit overpowered. It, by using just the five ability points, having the rush, that's how, that's not, um, that's more, you know, for all the bots with the rush. I think that might be overpowered a bit. It's more geared towards that bot, I think. Um, five star Firefly ability 11 and five star Jazz are going to be very good. Yeah, from what I've heard, Jazz is very good, but I could not tell you exactly what it is. I've not even seen yet. Crazy day I today for that chance, but yeah. I, I, I don't get to see because I don't even have we stuff that. Well, let's keep playing. Red Chinese put we need more G Metal courses and board of enhanced Yay. ordnance. That's a bit of a private joke between me and Brad Channing. I've been chasing enhanced ordnance for a long, long time with G Metal for my blades. And he pulled two last weekend. So yeah. These accounts are definitely rigged. Yeah, I have definitely. my own bundle. I have my own bundle. Uh, how will Trailbreaker and Hotspot stack? Um, I imagine the same as any other shield, the same as you would if you use tracks and you use uh, Hotspot in any other way. You know, uh, they're still going to stack. Um, but the question only is, if you use Hotspot, then Hotspot does attract defences. So will they then attracted by hotspot then I presume so yeah um go fire over saber and I've got I agree at the minute I do it's part of the current meta oh yeah uh, and I've got air raid was off. never meta well Eddie Lee you're slightly wrong air raid going back to HQ 10 or 11 or 12 I still use it. when the game first come out air raid was one of the bots to have but then as HQ 14, 15, 16 came out, he started to fade away. But when the game first came out, he was uh Bye. he was very much was he a uh, beast? Very much was one he... of the most useful bots in the game. Was he a beast? He was a beast. A beast. Grant has put uh, to me it all depends what they add to the ability so it's worth. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. It was worth if it's worth that spark, then yeah. Um, on another note, quickly, um, I don't think it will be a million zen. It probably will be a million spark, but not a million zen. Um, there's some figures of 750,000 zen or 500,000 zen flying around, but uh, yeah, it will take zen and it will take a uh, spark. I think definitely a million spark, I think, and maybe 500 or 150k then I reckon that's uh setting stone stuff to be discussed. I think they're pushing for it to be 500k then, but uh, it all depends on what space they want to do, and um, yeah, it all depends on that. Um, cool task, but HQs are pretty clustered, yeah, they are, but um, yeah. Uh, Eddie Lee has put sorry, Cliff Jump is the most useful, but ever air raid is second. Well, I don't know about that, Eddie Lee. I've air seen raid. some, I've seen some I, impressive I've... replays of people using jets and putting air raid down on build bots and then using uh jets to blow the build bots up to very good effect. Um, just depends how you use them, but I agree that they're not the meta. But all I'm saying is that at one time. I don't think Cliff Jump has ever been the meta, really. But at one point, when Jets were the meta originally, and this is why uh, Space Ape uh, totally give Jets a new lease of life come H217, because when the first the game first come out, uh, Jets were the bots to have. Everyone wanted Jets, and that was the idea. Because you've got to think, there's only two mortars. There's only two beam lasers and two launchers, maybe even one launch, I think. To take out, there's a lot that less defenses to take out back then. So using one or two jets, you could literally take out most of the defenses, and then uh, just walk the base with just cannons and um, the turrets left, and that was it, really. You know, and the game's improved a lot since and changed a lot. So yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I've seen some good people using some people using air raid in some some uh, ways. Brad Channing's put air raid plus jazz was destruction. Yeah, that back in the day, you did that in an area and it just unbelievable damage. But again, Once I think. I use air raid and skydive and it blew Yeah, it can do. It depends on the base, but I do agree that they aren't part of the meta now, but they do. Uh, Arthur's ability 11 should be bot still follow even when builds destroyed. I don't think that Otter's Prime's ability will be anything to do with the bots that are following him. I don't, it'll be around Prime himself. I really do think that. Um, being seen air raid, I think he's presuming, and five star silver being used in Prime. Yeah, yeah, air raid has potential in some respects. He's coming back into the meta a bit more, he's not in top wars yet, really. But yeah, I think that with ability 11, it could be. I think that you know, we've well, let's be honest, we've, we've seen from the latest, latest batch, we've seen that you know, bots like Laser Optimus can come back from the brink, you know, and you know, really become good bots again. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, buffing them, making them relevant. And, yeah, you know, no, don't write any bot off. No. Never write a bot off. You don't know what's around the corner. I'm just in the middle of battle, so I'm just trying to concentrate a bit. We use uh, we use no one's in, no one's in range, so we're gonna use gold fire there. We're all right there for a minute. It's all right. Don't worry, guys. It's all been taken care of. Let's uh, use a bit of bit of Rhinox action. Do a bit more hacking. And pew. And pew. Back now. Uh, yeah, Brett Channing's got a good point there. You know, Cheeto, exactly grind time. Very good point. Uh, Nor was a bad fast star pull, and all of a sudden, quick buff, and he was a beast. Just like Silverball, again, perfect example. Perfect example. You know, box can come from the brink and all of a sudden be great again. But just a small, you know, chain blade. I think blade is amazing. I really do. I think blade is one of the best bots in the game. I, I really do. Think that, uh, all thanks to um, yeah, all thanks to his buff. Yes, caught uh, great sound effects. That's what we'll be known as it from now on. So she could was in his cool sound effects. Pew pew pew. 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 I I do like smoke screen for that reason. He is super fun. Super fun. This is how it goes. It's like shooting a gun. But yeah, I think that uh, we're gonna have a look, quick look at the bots. We'll go through the. Um, we'll have a look go, at the uh, news like that. Quickly, maybe just pause the stream. Come use, back. Um, how we use a uh, smoke screen is a bit like. <laughs> well, what's that? <laughs> okay, we're back. Let's look at the newsletter. So the event is Ground Zero. It's Super XP. So we've obviously got a trail breaker exhaust. So a hundred thousand sparks, a loads of spark, fifty thousand combat spark, which is decent. Hundred power core chips. Um, not too sure. I need power core chips, but anyway, Super XP. That's always good, especially with the UK being in lockdown now, which means I get more time to play Earth Wars, which is always good. So, uh, yeah, generally the normal battle zones, not much different. Then we've got a uh, total of prizes. So, uh, yeah, combat spark, power core chip spark, and then a four-wheeler 
uh, crystal, which obviously contains either two, three, or four star trailbreaker or exhaust, and then shards. So uh, we've covered the ability. We've gone through that. And then Ability 11. So we recently announced the release of Ability 11 in the app, released notes, and discussed it in our bi-weekly stream. We wanted to update you about the progress and summarize the information we shared so far. On top of the usual stat increase, you can expect from upgrading Ability, the 11 will also add an additional effect to the box ability. We will share the details of the effects close to the release in a few weeks. So yeah, it seems like we're going to give us a few weeks to test them and really put them through the paces. There's 10 bots to balance, so there's uh, quite a bit to go through. Um, ability level 11 will not be available to all bots at once. We will release level 11 for uh, abilities in batches of 10. So I imagine maybe a month or two, a few months, maybe at a time, two months at a time, maybe I think is reasonable. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I know they have been working on this for about two or three months, so we may have to wait two or three months per batch. We just don't know yet. Uh, I'll ask Space Ape and I'll see if we can get some sort of time frame, a rough time frame, and then hopefully in the stream in a week or two, um, we can just talk about it. Um, and the first batch will enter play testers this week, so we've just got on today. And we want to share the roster. So um, Optimus and Megatron. So, yeah, been a lot of suggestions about the rush and about the bots. Uh, I really can't see it affecting the bots, but you never know. Uh, Ratchet, I think Ratchet has been um, looked at, and I don't think the playtesters are really happy with Ratchet at the minute. But, uh, yeah, it was mentioned in the chat about some sort of Micronus, which could be a, you know, could be a good addition. Uh, Grimlock and Razor Claw, I think that personally they need something around their health, I think. Uh, I think that the health needs... I think the Grimlock's damage has always been decent, but the health has been average at best, I think. So something that improves his, his health. Or, I know there's a shield when he rushes in, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, Firefly and Blastoff. For me, Firefly, especially the five star, is pretty decent already. So those are the five star. I mean, five star, I mean there is no five star uh, Ironhide. Bumblebee, Air Raid, Sea Spray. So those sort of bots are really geared towards just the four star. So those are the bots that really need an improvement. Whereas the likes of Optimus Prime, Ratchet and Grimlock, Firefly, uh, RC and Jazz have got five star versions. So maybe theirs doesn't need to be as much, maybe. But then are you sort of just giving it towards top players? So it all depends, really, which way you look at it. Uh, Ironhide, I think, also needs a... A bit of a rework, his ability. We explained that why use Grimlock's a bit. Uh, uh, sorry, why use Ironhide's uh, ability when you've got a Drift that does better? Even Combiners do better than Ironhide. So why use three ability points to use Ironhide to break through walls when you can use a Combiner and use no ability points and make a better job of it? You know, it's just you know his his uh, ability is very very dated. Um, I think Iron Hand is an improvement as well as Ability 11. So maybe we could look at that while we look at this. Uh, Bumblebee is a good bot. It's a sort of scout. Be interesting what Ability 11 does. Um, yeah, I I'm intrigued myself. I'm literally going to finish the stream. I'm going to have a look because, uh, yeah, it's a shame that we don't know already. I can't, it's a shame we can't talk about it, but yeah. Even, I, even I'm getting quite frustrated because I don't even know yet. I've not looked myself on purpose. So, yeah, even I'm quite excited by this. Uh, area we said needs something substantial, especially being a four-star. Uh, RC, we've talked about as well. Um, sea Spray, there's been a lot of talk about... Here's the thing. So when Sea Spray's windmill goes over the defences, it's, you know, should it be fast? Should it be slow? If it's slow, does more damage? Can they speed it up and increase its damage? Maybe. Um, so, yeah, maybe speeding that up. Uh, not just as part of ability 11, but I mean just improving him. Uh, and I, I trust you, I'm surprised that Jazz and Mixmaster are in there. I think they're two of the best bots in there. Um, personally, I wouldn't have put Jazz in there. Uh, I wouldn't have put Ratchet in there either. And I wouldn't put Firefly in there. I think those are the three bots that are all okay already. Maybe Firefly. I don't know. He is probably the worst of the Jets, maybe. But 
He has got a five star, but I think Ratchet and Jazz are definitely still in the meta. Uh, Jazz is one of the best gunners in the game. Ratchet was one of the uh, the best healers in the game. So, but yeah, there's still good additions to it. So, yeah. Einhorn can be used for Z energy on farming. Yeah, but that's on a, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else. <laughs> uh, Ratchet's put with run gun ratchet. What can you do to improve him? Well, exactly. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't give him an increase to heal beam. That's just a natural increase. I'd give him an increase to be a Micronus or something to himself or give himself a shield or himself some sort of, you know, why not with ability 11, he uh, has a shield by himself, uh, which reflects 20% of damage or something. So for those that are, you know, putting a target protocol on and things like that, that's going to target your um, your healers and what have you, then yeah, you know, that that's, that's you know, Pushes that back. Um, what else? This spray will release Shartacons. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I doubt that will happen. But uh, yeah. And yeah. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. So let's uh, pause the stream a second. Back in a second. Uh, before we sign off, we'll have a quick update, a quick account update. So we've had the VIP crystals uh, this week. Um, we've had, what else have we had? We had the event last week where we got a, quite a few shards. It was quite a good event last week for considering triple XP, quite an easy event. And uh, yeah, it was decent. So uh, looking forward to super XP this weekend to level some more bots. Um We'll talk about what I'm leveling now. We'll talk about how that's going to work and why I'm doing them choices and what I'm going to use my spark for now. We know Ability 11's here. So I can start making some plans now. Because even I didn't know. Honestly, guys, I did not know. I think I thought Jazz was going to be in there because they mentioned Jazz specifically in the stream. So I always had an idea that Jazz would be there. But, uh, yeah. Glad that uh, Jazz is there. But yeah, doing quite well, crystals-wise. So we'll probably do a one big crystal opening. I've already said that we're going to wait um, until we've got enough for the next uh, five-star or close, and then we'll just do one big opening. Oh, we've got a defense. So uh, we haven't got right on and the combiner. So uh, let's see how they do. So he's dropped his bots quite high, which might cause him to split and walk round. When you've got a bot, uh, a base this big, uh, unless you're going to do a a pull, then you're going to really struggle when you're placing your bot so high. Chromie is there. You can see Chromie's down there. So Chromie's causing loads of issues there, just stunning all the bots. You can see how good Chromie is. You really need to stay away from her. She is nasty. Very nasty. Grand time, but hey, he attacked me too. Maybe he's just attacking us, Grand time. Maybe he's just going for the, uh, the top guys. <laughs> the same guy. And don't you have the same base as me, Grand time? <laughs> but I presume you got different outposts, surely. Let's fast forward a bit. This combiner's gone. I'd expect someone to be able to take my base on when there's no uh when there's no combiner beacon and no shield. Just have a couple of five star uh, wait, one five star, I suppose. So maybe, maybe not. And don't always trust replays, don't forget. Don't always trust replays. Always go off what the middle say. And the bots have actually stayed quite well together on this uh, nice attack, but he's struggling to get through the walls. 
but he's getting close to other outposts. He's going to have a massive show shot when he gets there because I know who's in there. He doesn't. No, Mrs. Prime's gone for a walk. He's going to have a major shot when he gets there. Who, kn who, who knows what's going to be in this outpost? Any guesses dead quick? Who do we think to have been this outpost? He's going to be in trouble. Let's just say that, let's just say that much. Definitely going to be in trouble. If he even gets there. <laughs> it looks to me like when we get there, he's going to die before he gets there. <laughs> he didn't even get there. I, <laughs> we'll show up. Don't worry, guys. But yeah, he died before he even got there. Let's have a catch. Remember, I moved on my outpost around. <laughs> Who was it? Maybe I should just never tell you. <laughs> so yeah, he didn't read the top section. Oh, a bit. I would not do that to you. And yes, it was Blades. Who said Blades? Matt Pauley said Blades. So you know what, Matt Pauley? Because you get it right, I'm going to give you a Sunstreak was a stash crystal. There you go. All you need to do is message me on Discord to say that you won for guessing uh, Blades in the Outpost, and I will uh, give you a Sunstreaker with a Sash Crystal. So, yeah, 64-10 Blades in the Outpost with five-star Top Shot. So, yeah, look out for that. That is dangerous. So, yeah, him and Chromer in Outpost, super dangerous. Uh, if you want to get around those sort of Outposts, guys, Drop one bot. That one bot will be hacked. You've got to be careful with Chromium. That one bot will uh, pop the outpost and the shock tower will stay there. You can pop it and then place your bot somewhere else as long as you're not using a healer. It's hard. It complicates things. That's the idea. And then at the top, we've got Swoop because someone did a, uh, did a uh, prime rush, uh, a cup pull. So I weren't having that. And then the other one, we've got Slash because you can't target Slash. Stop them sort of people from doing polls. So, yeah, let's make it more difficult. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's have a look at what we're uh, doing this weekend. So, this weekend. So, who am I upgrading this weekend? Let's see who can guess first. First one to guess. My main focus this weekend will get a Sunstreaker was a Sash Crystal. Who am I going to be upgrading this weekend? Elita, go fire. Uh, no, Elita's a uh, 57. I don't really use her. Uh, Jetfire is, but it's not going to be the main focus. Goldfire is 64, so doesn't need it. Not Sandstorm. Sandstorm's okay. It's quite expensive. I'll give you a clue. The bottom leveling's not even on this screen, guys. It's not even a five star. There you go. That's really throwing the cat amongst the pigeons. Not even I'm not even loving a five star this weekend. Not Blades. Blades is level 64. He's high enough. Not Slash. Tracks in the cooker. So I may level him, but that's not the main focus. Not Skyburst or Trailbreaker. Yeah, but, oh, and Jason Rowley is the first one in there with Chromia. Yes, Chromia is getting the love this weekend. My idea is to replace one of my healers with Chromia. She's 52. And we're going to get uh, Chromia up to level oh, level 60, I think, hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, Jason Rowley got it right. Chromia. Yes. Yeah, I did behind Chromia. And the reason I'm leveling her is that my bot, my bots in my war team are generally around distraction, hacking, not that much damage, really. I mean, Cheetah cleans up well, Blasters minions and... My and um and um Quintus things like that 
Uh, it's all about distraction. And the same with the EMP. It doesn't do much damage, but it just stuns things, slows them down, stops them hitting your bots. It's going to be quite hard to use, but it's going to be quite fun. Trying to go one healer. Uh, might even use her EMP shock tower instead of tracks, maybe. Yeah, and maybe uh, look at dropping tracks even. Who knows? All depends. We're going to try a few things out with her. We're going to try and get her in that war team. And this just goes to show as well that, you know, five stars are not the beyond end all, guys. There are some four stars out there that are very much still worth leveling. And for me, Chromie is probably the best support bot that the playtests have made in a long, long time. And I think that that's, I think you can see that by the amount of people that think she's going to get nerfed. Because all you see, as soon as someone mentions Chromia, let's nerf Chromia, let's nerf Chromia. No, let's not nerf Chromia. Yes, she is powerful in Outpost, but let's have it that way. Let's not. Let, this really, really frustrates me. Is that when we nerf a bot, people cry about nerfing and say, let's not, oh, I can't believe we nerfed it. And I agree with that. I agree with that totally. But let's not go the other way. And when we really struggle against the bot, then say, this bot needs nerfing because I can't beat it. You can't have it both ways. If you've got a, if you want all the bots to be hard to to good to use and hard to defend against, then yeah, let's make them all great. But then don't complain when they're hard to play against, guys. You know, you can't have it both ways. Either make the bots great, which means they're gonna be hard in outposts, or make them awful, and then they're awful to play with, but easier in outposts. That's the way it is, guys, you know. And it's just us to balance them. Not every bot can be amazing. But um, I think Chromie is good what she is. She makes you can There's ways around it. There is more than one way to um, get around uh, uh, Shock Towers. They are a pain, definitely. They can definitely really break your attack down. But, um, yeah, let's not nerf too many bots. Let's go press us, but nerf's okay for the bots that I don't have. Yeah, you know what? You you won't believe the amount of times I have seen that where someone uses a rush attack and they go, nerf jets, nerf jets. And you go, let's nerf the rush attack. And then they all of a sudden go, no, let's not nerf the rush attack. And then people that have jets will say, nerf that other attack. And it's quite it's quite amusing to see. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's quite amusing to see that. Hang on a minute. You use, you're complaining you want that nerfing because you don't use it, basically. That's why you want that nerfing. <laughs> Red Alert is good against Chromia. Yeah, there is this and there are loads of ways. You know, sacrificing. Just probably combine her. Just put your combiner down. Plain and simple. Chromia comes out, put your combiner down. But again, it just forces you to maybe use that combiner when you didn't really want to. Maybe you wanted to do something else and you're like, oh, actually, I need to change tactic now. And it might give you, you know, that edge in a war. And that's what you want. You want people to get a bit more tactical with things and not just, you know, beating every base exactly the same. You know, who's in the outpost? You'd be like, oh, hang on a minute. That person that's in the outpost, I can't attack this way. Maybe I need a different bot. Maybe I need a different strategy. Change the way I attack. And that's what we want. We want a bit of variety in the game. So, yeah, don't be too quick to judge bots and, you know, ask for a nerf, you know. Um... Fisco's asking, does Trailbreaker shield resist stun? No, it doesn't, sadly. I think I'll be a bit overpowered giving them the two things. So, um, still a good ability, like I said, still because it covers quite a good range. And the thing, the difference between, obviously, Trax is amazing. Let's be honest, it is. But with Trax is, his cloud is static. Whereas Trailbreaker moves around the map, basically. So it'll follow the bots. So if you put your smoke down with Trax and they go through that and then walk off, Obviously, that smoke is then irrelevant because it stays there, whereas Trailbreaker will move around um, with them a box. Uh, Fiscal presence, maybe at ability 11. Yeah, maybe. You know, I think that's way off yet because Trailbreaker is quite, quite new, but that's the thing. We've got G1 core. We can buff them. That's, that's a plain and simple. Uh, we've got G1 cores as well. That will help the bots in some way. We've got ability 11 now. So there's so many options that we can choose to, you know, to improve the, uh, the bots. So, um, yeah. Um, Bat Farmers asked if Trail Break will be good for an outpost. Um, yeah, but I think it'd be the same as Hotspots. It'd be decent. Decent health will definitely slow bots down, but 
Um, I think he's more geared towards attack rather than defence. I think he's not an amazing outpost, but he's not awful. Definitely an option. Again, like Hotspot, very similar. Um, the question then is, if they pop all your outposts at once, then yet he's useful. If he's just pop Trailbreaker, then not so much, but it will slow people down. So if you're going to run a time trap, then um, yeah. Uh, Matt Pollitt's but is not letting me direct message you on Discord. The best thing to do, Matt Pollitt, is um, if you are a member of the server, then it should be available. Um, I think there's some setting that I've changed that's caused a few people problems, but if you are in the server, it should let you message me. Uh, I think I've put it so that people could only message me if we're in the same server together. But uh, yeah, if not, Matt, we can uh, sort it out after the stream in some way. I'm sure we can sort it out. Or you can try and find me online. If you're really struggling, then try and find me online. Uh, Sunstreaker was a, And uh, yeah, I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, don't worry. We will definitely get the codes here some way. We'll work it out, guys. Don't worry. Uh, God, number one genius. But what's the Discord? I'm sure one of the moderators will put it in the chat for you. I'm sure. No doubt. Uh, so, quick crystal update. So we've got 70,000 Prem Shards, pretty much. So, yeah, we've got 70 Prem Crystals just sat there. Uh, we've got 22,000 Shannix, so we're just saving those Shannix. We don't need them. I'm going to use a couple this weekend, I think, for XP cores. Uh, so, yeah, we'll start 20,000 Shannix uh, saved up just for a rainy day. Um, I don't think there's any point in using them for the uh, G1 cores. They're massively overpriced. I've got the squad cores that I won. I've got enough all 13. I've got enough combat spark, really. So, yeah, I've got enough, really. I don't really need them. So, yeah. Uh, oh, we've got a free crystal shit. We'll clear them. We'll open them now. Why not? You never know. We're going to get anything, anything good. But you never know. There's always that slim chance. We've got 7,000 four star shards. So, we've got three four star crystals. So that's eight, 36. Uh, Shards. So about 2,700 shards already. So I think after the next five-star event, maybe next year, early next year, we'll have another five-star bot. Um, way off another five-star combat bot. But um, yeah. Uh, Frisco Prez is asking how much ability level will cost. Um, I, I think a million spark. And I'm thinking maybe 750,000 zen maybe. Uh, but the play testers, I think, are pushing for 500. But it all depends on what Space Ape think the economy should be, whether 500 is cheap. Personally, at the start, I thought a million was okay. 750 would be good. But now, thinking about it, looking at the bots that have got Ability 11, I think it should be 500 because of, um, you know, the bots it is. You know, if it was Star Saber and Goldfire and you know, and Cheeto, then I'd say 750. Let's keep it at 750. Make it rare. And again, guys, you've got to take it out of that as in, let's not make it the cheapest possible. Let's make it what's fair. And I think 750 for the top war box is fair. Let's make it rare. But because the bots have chose, because it is some underpowered bots, then I think 500 is a lot more fairer. And I know a lot of people struggle for them, but a lot of top guys in the game have it maxed out already. I'm not quite maxed out, but a lot of people are. Uh, so they'll just hit ability 11. Bang, bang, bang. Three bots, ability 11. They've, and a lot of top guys have got ability 10 already. So it's, let's be honest, it's geared towards some of the top guys in the game. So, um, yeah, I think 500 for the bots we've got at the minute, I think that's fair, but it all depends on what space it wants. So expect it to be Either 500 or 750k, I think. I doubt it'd be a million. Uh, I thought it'd be a million. I voiced that. I saw a lot of unrest about it. So I think Space Able took that on board. Um, does then he's fine? A spark? What's the problem? Yeah, they make it, they try to make about 11 special. So it is, they've always said it's going to be more than 10. And they're making spark more available. So uh, yeah, you know. Um, Jason Roll has put one mil spark 10k is at energy on and 6.7 mil. No, not 10k then. 
Not a chance. Not a chance. There are guys out there with three million zen. Is it three million? Is that? I mean, to give you an idea, I mean, I've got 10k zen. I can get 10k zen in one battle. It will definitely be um, not a zen. Definitely. I will guarantee it'd be 500 plus, 500k zen plus. Definitely without a doubt. Again, it's geared towards the top players in the game. It's geared towards those that fight at the top level, and you know, it's going to be quite hard. A um, couple of questions before we sign off. Blastwave's asking, when do I think the four star part for Oval will be in the shop? I think next year. I think next January or February, maybe something like that. I think three months from when it was released. So October till about January. You'll find that what happens with most new bots that come out, they generally come in free crystals within three months' time. So I think that it'll be the same for the combiner. It'll come free in three months' time. So you'll get it, but you've got to wait a bit. That's always the way. Um, is Goldfire the best four-star for the bull combat core? Oh, you mean Smashdown? Um, I don't know. The best. Would I say is the best? Would I say Smashdown is good? Yes. Would I say Goldfire is the best? It depends. Use him. It depends. If you sacrifice him, then maybe not. Because if you sacrifice him, uh, when you use Goldfire and he uses the uh, uh, uses Smashdown, it stuns the area. So if you've got Vector on him, then uh, definitely not Smashdown because it'll take longer for him to die and he won't be able to come back when he wants him to. I learned a valuable lesson that if you are doing a sacrifice with Vector, don't put anything that increases um, Goldfire's health or anything that protects him at all. Increases damage, yeah, no problem, but don't increase his health and don't increase any kind of protection for him if you're going to do um, something with Vector. So, yeah. Um, any more questions? Uh, how long does it take to get your first five-star first five-star combat? Uh, God Genius asked. Um, my first five star bot took me a long time, but this this was like, oh God, when five stars were super rare. I mean, super rare. And I think that more and more people are getting five stars now. And there's even mediocre mid level players that are getting five stars now that wouldn't dream of getting five stars originally. And it's good for the game. It is. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's a lot different now. Um, but first five star combat was a uh, top shot, which I only pulled uh, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, yeah, I can um, I can show that guy. Do my five stars as well. So uh, yeah, uh, five star top shot, and he's very very impressive. So yeah, very impressive. And in terms of. Uh, Five stars, got quite a few. Uh, do the top players need this ability 11? Or do they beat all bases? Uh, Air Elf, it depends on what level. I mean, if you say all top guys, no, some still struggle. But uh, i say, you know, maybe the top 500 guys, then yeah, find it quite easy. And I don't think ability 11 is needed. But then most of the bots, the war bots we use, haven't got ability 11. Uh, you're talking the likes of... of you know, Elita and uh, Blades, Blast, Five Star Jets, uh, Sentius Rook slash Skylink, Trax, Silver Ball, Gnaw, uh, Otters Prime, Rodimus Prime, Otters Primal. All these bots don't have ability 11 already anyway, but I think when it comes, I think we're going to see a huge hike in HQ 17.5. And I think that that's going to be. The uh the point where we decide whether we really need ability eleven still or not. It could be interesting. Uh can you only get them out of shards or yeah, you you can't get five star bots out of premiums. Definitely not. It's hard enough to get four stars. Um but yeah, you just gotta collect all the four stars, then you've got to get duplicates of them four stars. Once you get the duplicates, then you get five stars. Five stars are very hard to achieve. If you can get one five star a year, you are pretty lucky. I think I average about two now, maybe three. Um, obviously, I'm quite high in the game. So, yeah, as a new player, 
I wouldn't be expecting five stars anytime soon. Concentrate on getting those three stars, level them up, and then try and get some four stars, and then eventually your three stars will die away, and then you use four stars for a long time. But uh, five stars are real end game material. So, yeah. Frisco's put top shot on specials is humping walls. Well, I have mine on blades or cheats or pretty much news. It works fine for that. So, uh, wait, so you can pull a five star out of a premium? No, you can't, God Junior. You cannot get five stars out of a premium. No, you have to get duplicates. Um, yeah. <laughs> Grand Times put I almost never get five stars. Grand's got enough five stars. <laughs> uh, bat bomb put I've been playing for a year and I'm only halfway there yeah um, if you started on a year ago then yeah you will struggle at the start and as you get more and more bots in the second year so it might take you two years of getting playing to get a five star bot but then you might find that in your next year you'll get one the next year you might get one might get two and then it goes off from that the more four stars you collect the more chance you have so yeah one fifth of the way there with a HQ 14. Yeah, it all depends on what box you've got. That's what really matters. Um, so, Stryker, when do you think the five star part event for Mega Supreme will come? That will be a leaderboard. I'll guarantee it. I will put money on it. I will put money that the five star part will be part of a leaderboard award for the top five. I personally don't even think I'll bother for it. I don't think I'll get. Omega Supreme to level 20. And then by the time I do, it'd be in the Shannon store. I'll just save for that then. But yeah, we'll see. I really don't think so. Uh, God Genius, when I got my first five star, which bot should I go for? All depends on what four stars you've got. All depends on your team. All depends on how you attack. And also depends on what might come in the next patch when it eventually comes, which will probably be next year now, quite a way off. But uh, we've got quite a few batches now. We don't need any more anytime soon, especially with ability 11 and getting all the increase in attack. So we're quite a while before uh, we get a new batch. But yeah. All right. And that is it for today's stream. So next week, we may have a trail. We may not. We may be able to talk about ability 11 more. I'm not too sure we will. I think we'll still be balancing it for a week or two. Because it's 10 bots to balance. So it's going to take a few weeks, I think, to really get to grips with it. Uh, I imagine that on the stream tomorrow night, the official stream, uh, they will uh, reveal a Trailbreaker as well. Maybe talk a bit about Ability 11 more than I can. Obviously, they decide what they can and can't talk about. Um, and then we'll see what's ready for next week. Who knows what we'll have next week. But... Um, we're going to say good night, aren't we, Mary Jake? Yeah. So it's good night from uh, both of us. And uh, yeah, we'll grind this weekend. Um, I, I might actually keep the Trailbreaker crystals for our next stream and see what we can get, see if we can pull Trailbreaker. That'd be good for a stream. Do you want to do that next week, me and you? Pull some Trailbreaker crystals, try and get four star Trailbreaker. Sound good? Sounds good. Oh, and Righteous has donated to the stream right at the end. Thank you, Righteous. So, yeah. Uh, anyone wants to donate, don't forget, it goes towards being a VIP. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Another one. Uh, Righteous is already VIP because he is a uh, moderator. And what? you can see that that time has been made a VIP. He is a moderator in the stream, too. So, yeah, anyone that uh, becomes a VIP, I will make... Leader? The donation. Yeah. Let's well, just do the donation before. No, that's the other one in the stream, yeah. But yeah, thank you, Righteous. Huge donation thank you. Again. But, um, yeah, anyone that donates to the channel for over twenty dollars, twenty pounds will get into the VIP section and then we'll be made a um moderator in the streams. But just want to put a disclaimer, guys, that if anyone does get that as part of their VIP status and they misuse it, it will be taken away. I've just got to put a disclaimer there, guys. So yeah, if you do get VIP status in the um, in the YouTube, uh, then yeah, please uh, don't abuse it. We'll keep to it. And uh, on that bad note, <laughs> we're going to say uh, good night. Thank you to everyone for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you watch this channel. If you've liked it in any way, give it a like. Please subscribe. 
Uh, come and join the Discord. Uh, I usually go in there after every stream to chat um, in there at least probably once or twice per day. And especially since we're locked down now, I'll be in that Discord pretty much every day. So, Hashtag yeah. Rip. So, if you've got any questions, Hashtag come and hit us in Discord. Come and uh, see us. And, um, yeah, we will see you there. Hashtag rip the world. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out. Peace out, guys. Hashtag rip the world.